Hello, my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. Woohoo! I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room where I have been in here every day, all day, almost all day. I have been running errands, but for the most part, I've been in here. And I have gotten a lot of sewing done that I want to tell you about. I have not worked on my Christmas dress, and I was not going to. I was going to let that go, except... I forgot that church, uh, Sunday morning church, is on Christmas Eve. So sun that Sunday morning, we'll get up and go to church with my mom and dad. And I thought, oh, I would like to have that dress. So I am going to work on that next. And I'll tell you about it when I get it done. In the meantime, I have been making gifts for everybody. Everybody. Starting with pillowcases. And I have to tell you that Joann's has the greatest selection of themed and licensed print fabrics, just cottons, you know, like quilting cottons. And they're all directional prints, which is common with themed and licensed prints. Um, this one is Quidditch and from Harry Potter. And so that's for one of my daughters. One of my daughters had a, uh, a guinea pig growing up and it was her favorite pet ever. She and that little guinea pig were her best friends and so I, have, I found one with guinea pigs on it. I couldn't believe it. I special ordered two of the fabrics because I needed to be very specific about what I did for each kid. One for my future son-in-law, uh, which will be Miami Dolphins, who slaughtered the Raiders. And I told him at the time, he and I talk football all the time. We text back and back and forth and last night was a big night. But, uh, you know, I said, if you guys beat us, then I'm going to have serious trouble getting your Christmas presents. <laughs> and, uh, and that was largely because on his wish list, he had dolphins, 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 dolphins. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I caved and got him some dolphin stuff, not the least of which was fabric. I had to order this. This is Miami Dolphins. Do you see the problem here? Okay, when you lay this on your bed, do you lay it like that? Or do you lay it like this? And how is that design going? <laughs> the wrong way. You know what? I don't care. I don't think they're going to care. It's fine. So the two that I have left to do, I'm going to do correctly. So I had to special order that. I only got a yard. It was wide. Uh, and I just laid it out wrong. And I had to piece it. And that's why the top cuff is only white. This is a Michael Miller print, and I needed one for the guinea pig uh, kid who loves fairies. And so she's going to love this, I'll tell you. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh, so pretty. And it is called Midnight Fairies. Oh, just Night, not Midnight. Night Fairies Border. And uh, like I say, it's a Michael Miller print, and um, it's a border print. So, you know, I'm going to be able to fully utilize that the right way. So, got those done. Uh, all but two. I have that one and then one other one to do. And I've got one cut out and it's in process. I also made coffee sleeves. I made seven of these for my kids who all drink coffee. Not my husband. He doesn't. And I found two um, coffee prints. And um, I used a pattern from Pin Cut Sew, Nikki at Pin Cut Sew. Um, she has a pattern that's available. You can actually download it and cut it out. There are a lot of these kinds of patterns out there. Same with pillowcases, but you know, pick one, do that, <laughs> whatever one suits your fancy. That's the one I liked. And I was able to find um, some little reusable cups, three at Dollar Tree for $1.25, pretty good deal. So I'll put these with these and with uh, a Starbucks card inside because I do that for them every year. Everybody gets a Starbucks card. For those quilters among you, I want you to know that I have saved all my salvages. <laughs> Don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm sure one of you will have a suggestion. I've also saved all of my scraps. Okay, I have two tips for you. My bobbin thread went haywire and although it would stitch, it was not forming a correct stitch, and I could not figure out why. The top, the needle thread, was fine. 
but the bobbin thread wasn't. And the thing about that, that I've learned um, probably in the last couple of years, that's important to remember is that when there's a problem with your bobbin thread, the problem is in your needle threading or whatever's happening with your needle. And that's counterintuitive because you think, well, if it's the bobbin thread that's the problem, it's gotta be a problem within the bobbin casing or the bobbin or something. No, nope. I went through all that, took out the bobbin casing, which is very simple to do, cleaned it all out. Uh, I did not use spray can of air, no, I just brushed it all out actually. Um, so I did all that, uh, and then I re-threaded, and then I put it into a needle, and same thing. And I couldn't figure it out. I could not. Ran an errand, was over by the quilt studio where I bought the machine, and I walked in, and I thought, maybe they'll have an idea. And they'll say, well, did you do this? And I'll go, oh, how did I not think of that? No, they didn't know. They said, we wouldn't know unless you brought your machine in, and I thought that thing is not portable. So... I came back home and I was fiddling with it again. And I thought, you know, I'm fiddling with tension. I'm fiddling with, I don't know, the pressure of the presser foot on the fabric. You know, it's like I'm going through everything. And I went to re, uh, I had to rethread because I ran out of thread. And I noticed, and I've heard this before, and I think that's why it clicked in my brain. There are two ways that thread is wound on a spool. It's There is this way where it's kind of like your bobbin. When it threads, it starts at the top and it winds and it goes all the way down, then it comes back up and it winds evenly like that, like little rows, right? One on top of the other. So that's one way. And that's the spool of thread that we're all familiar with. And then there's this kind. This is a spool of Guterman thread. Very easily, you can get this anywhere. Um, but you can see how that's, how that's wound on. It's like, it goes like this and then back up again and almost like in a figure eight. So it's not wound the same way as this is. Well, your spool on your machine will either go up and down or it will be able to go this way. So what I did was when I rethread it, I thought, well, Maybe that's it because I had only been doing vertical thread because, you know, why not? So I put it on the, um, the spool and then I turned it this way. Problem solved. Couldn't believe it. So simple. I knew it was going to be something like that. And it was. So the bobbin thread is fine now. The other tip I wanted to tell you is when you are sewing at a given seam allowance and it's, you know, not more than maybe five eighths of an inch. And you want to line up the edge of the fabric with your presser foot. My presser foot is three eighths of an inch wide. Some of them are half, some of them are, I don't know, probably less. There are quarter inch feet. I've got one of those for my machine. You can, instead of following the line on your throat plate, you can just line up your presser foot with the edge of your fabric and then move your needle. I know this and I always forget about it and I don't know why that is, but I did that for some of the pillowcases and oh my gosh, so much easier to get an accurate seam allowance. Ah, I don't know why I haven't thought of that before, but oh well. Okay, so those are my two tips. That's what I've been sewing and now it's time for presents because I have two boxes. Well, a box and a package from England and then I have an, another package from Florida. And I also have a card from Nancy at Running With Scissors. Thank you, Nancy. Merry Christmas. She uh, was so kind to include me in the people that she sends cards to. I don't send cards anymore, but yeah, I always love getting them. So this is from Deb at Deb's Way. She's here in Florida. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, there's a card. So let me open the card. My mom always said, open the card first. Be thankful. Christmas stockings, so cute. Have a warm and cozy Christmas. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And thank you, Deb. Okay, what is this? Deb is 
famous for homemade gifts, like handmade gifts. So we'll see. It has a little snowflake. Yeah, quit messing around, Jen. <laughs> Get it done. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, Deb, thank you so much. Do you know, I never thought I would use these kinds of things. This is just a little magnetic notepad. That's all it is. Very simple. And this is the kind of thing that I think, oh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm never going to use that. Forget it. I use these all the time. I'm always needing to jot down a measurement, jot down something I want to remember all the time. I am so grateful for this. Thank you so much. This is going to be so helpful. I'm going to put it over here right now. And then a composition book because I'm just about out of room in the composition book that Andrea gave me. So this is perfect. Oh, look at this. It's gridded. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. And look, look how cute. Sewing machines everywhere. Oh, Deb, thank you so much. I love this. Oh man, when I go to sketch stuff out, this is gonna be so nice. Because I do that sometimes. I'll, I'll see the front of a pattern and I'll think, well, I could just change that skirt or change that sleeve. This is going to be perfect for that. Thank you so much. You are so kind and so generous to me. I thank you. Oh, one more thing in there. It's a charm. Look. Oh, so cute. It's a little um, dress form. I'm always putting things on my bracelets. So, oh, this will be fun to wear with a necklace too. Thank you, Deb. Very, you're so kind. Thank you for thinking of me. I just, I'm very grateful. This is from the most amazing quilter I've ever met in my life, actually. I am sending him a, a Christmas gift and I am going to swear him to not looking at the quality of my stitching. I'm going to make him swear he will not look. But this came the other day. And so I'm so happy. Okay. Oh. And it has to come all the way from England. So, oops, wrong scissors. And so, yeah, let me slide that open. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I love it. He wrapped it with uh, pattern tissue. <laughs> I love that. Oh, oh my goodness, there are just things falling out of it all over. It's just stuff just falling out. Oh my goodness. Washi tape. Oh, I love this stuff. It's just, it's just great for everything, you know? And thread. Oh, is this Aurifil? Oh my gosh. I don't know if it is or not. He's an Aurifil ambassador, so I don't know if this is or if it's just... I don't know. I don't really, it's made in Italy, it says. I don't know. I don't care because it's such a gorgeous color. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And here, I think this is called a charm pack and it's, it's got his sticker on it. Oh my gosh. And this is just, let's see if I can do it this way. Look, can you see all the different prints? What am I going to do with this? Oh, I've been telling uh, he and the Fab Five that I, I want to do some quilting. I want to kind of learn how to do that. I don't think that's all I want to do, but I just, wow. Oh, so cute. Little eyes, little ladybugs. <laughs> this one's got a tape measure. I think some of this, I don't know, maybe even all of it, is Tula Pink, which is a very famous dis quilt designer. Okay, so let's keep, oh my gosh, this is just chock full. Oh, there's a little, like a Christmas ornament, it's a mushroom, because we did a collaboration, all of us, and um, it was with mushrooms. It had to have a mushroom on it. Oh, this is so cute. It's felt. Oh, Adam, did you make that? I bet you did. Ah, oh, fabulous. Now I know he made this. Oh man, this is one of those great little, oh, this is fantastic. This is like a wallet and it's got room for cards inside and it's got the oil slick rainbow zipper and zipper pull and a little way to attach it to, I don't know, 
anything really your keys probably you could attach your keys to this and so pretty just pretty pretty he knows i love blue um, pins pins oh my gosh oh my gosh i needed new pins anyway oh and these are pretty oh i love christmas I think I do really like getting presents. I love giving them more, but I really love presents. Oh, look at this. Look at these. You can see they're kind of like diamonds. See how that is? Oh, cool. I got a diamond ring of pins. <laughs> oh my goodness, and patterns. Oh, I love it when he sends me patterns. We were talking about this recently about um, wedding gown patterns. This is from, let me see if I can find a date, 1971. Look at this. Simplicity 9600, in case you are um, wondering. Oh gosh, the back of this dress is beautiful. So simple. Style 2959. The reason I love these is because I know they come to, from England. Like they're, you know, they were sold in England. This is a so simple pattern and it is from 1980 and it's a wrap skirt. I have a bunch of wrap skirt patterns and I love them all because they're all kind of the same but a little bit different. You know what? I love it. This will be fun to put back into my stash of those. Simplicity 9038. This is probably from the 80s. 19, where is it? Yeah. Printed in Great Britain, 1979. This is a classic shirt dress. And then, oh, this is so cute. Style 1131. This is from 1975. Oh, I love it. Vintage patterns. Oh, my goodness. Adam, you are just too good to me. Oh. And I have another uh, package coming from him. I'm not gonna find, I'm not gonna get it until I go up north for Christmas, but it's for my mom. He did something for my mom for me. It was a special order and I know she's gonna, she's gonna love it because he's just so good. Thank you so much. I love these. I really love these. I love this. I really love these <laughs> and I love this. And I really like this, yeah. Thank you so much. You guys are too good to me. Mm. Okay, one last one, and that is from Miss Carol, from So Carol. Let's just that like that. Mm. There's, there we go. Let me just hold it up there. Let's do this together. There's a card, Carol, you know that I love you, and I'm so thankful, so I'm gonna save this. Oh my goodness, she did a chocolate bomb. <laughs> These are those things, you unwrap them, you put them in a mug, and then you pour hot milk on top of them, and it forms hot chocolate. That is wonderful, and it's British, even better. Okay, she has wrapped all of these things. You can kind of tell, there's one, there's one, there's one, so I'm gonna unwrap them quickly, so you won't be here all day. Okay, the first thing is, this feels like soap. <laughs> it's the game charades. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh, if you only knew what game players my family is. And oh my gosh, oh, this is gonna be great. We can play this over Christmas. Thank you. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay, this, I bet, because it feels like a bag full. Wait, no, I can't smell it. I wonder. She knows, we have this ongoing feud about, she likes tea and I like coffee. Ah, Starbucks. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is medium roast house blend. Perfect. And it's ground. I'm having to grind my coffee lately and it's kind of a pain. Next thing, is it, what is it, when is it? Oh, I think it's cookies. Is it cookies? No. <laughs> it's Yorkshire pudding and pancake mix. Oh my gosh. A taste of England. <laughs> now I'm going to have to um, read the recipes. Uh -huh. 
for perfect Yorkshire pudding every time follow these simple steps. I will definitely give this a try because whatever this is looks amazing. Amazing. It's fried. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, big. I don't know. Anyway, it looks amazing. Okay, let's see. One, two, three more things. I love this paper. It's so shiny. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! This is the buttons! Oh my gosh! She lives in Dorset, England. And Dorset is known for handmade buttons. It's like a Dorset thing. And she sent me, she sent me one of the buttons. Probably that she made. You make these with a little form and then thread. Let's see if that helps. It does help, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, so I can put that on my keychain. And then she's got embroidery floss and two little rings. Oh my gosh, and the directions. This is fantastic. I have to sit on a plane for three hours. This is going to be wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, next one. This feels like fabric. She has great taste in fabric. Yep. <gasps> if this, get out. This is, stop it. She sent me Liberty fabric. You know what? I, it is my dream to have three yards of Liberty lawn someday. This is, I don't, I don't want to take it out of the packaging or the way it's folded or anything, but oh my goodness. I have to feel it. This, I think it's probably not uh, lawn. I think it's quilting cotton, but I could be wrong. Oh, this feels so nice. Just the way that they weave the fabric. It's, oh man. But we have a light, they know I love blue. Light blue and then a dark blue. Oh, Liberty. I Carol, you are so good to me. Thank you so much. I don't believe it. Oh, this is fabulous. Oh my gosh, there are two more. This also feels like fabric. Let's see. And Oh, it is. This, I think is, what is this? It's like a napkin. Oh, it's a tea towel. And it's, it's England. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's Dorset. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm gonna to have to hang this up in here. I don't know if it's a towel or a banner or I don't care. It's going on the wall. <laughs> oh man, this is fantastic. Ah. Okay, last thing. And it is let's see. I have to tear the paper again. This is Oh my gosh, it's a paper or it's a paper dolls. Look. <laughs> Have fun playing your, your makes. Oh, I love it. Okay, my favorite thing to do when I was little was play paper dolls. You could get these books and they were like cardstock weight and you could they were perforated, so you could punch out the dolls and then cut out all the, or punch out all the clothes and they had little tabs on them. You just fold the tabs back. My favorite thing. This is so fun. Use the clothes templates provided to dress up your character. You know I will. You know I will. Look, there are the templates. And golly, there's a bunch. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm sure she put this in laughing as she did it, but this is going to be wonderful. Even if all I do is play with it. <laughs> oh, my friends are so good to me. Thank you all. I, You know I love you. You know I appreciate you so much. And my Christmas thus far has been very challenging with regard to family drama. So this sewing and coming in here and... Um, being able to just come to my fortress of solitude, as my husband calls it. He's a huge Superman fan. 
to come in here and to be able to just create it just gosh it's so therapeutic and then having so many of my friends so many of you be so good to me talk about therapeutic um and christmas was looking kind of dismal and it's looking better and so thank you thank you for all of this oh, especially for you watching i'm so glad you are here watching sharing this with me okay let's do this real quickly and then we'll be out of here um I catch up with the days. This is an advent calendar. It was made by Maddie from Maddie Sews. It's leather. She is a leather crafter. And so let's find out what happened between last week and this week. Okay, last week was, was it day seven? Yeah, must have been because that's empty. Okay, day eight is empty. Let's see, let's go to day nine. Ooh. What is this? Oh, I know what these are. Okay, I'll come back to that later. These are hem clips. You know when you're um, when you're pinning up your hem or you're uh, trying to get where your hem is going to fall, you can put these clips on, and they just go like they slide onto the fabric and they hold that fold there. Guess it wouldn't have to be hems either. It would just be anything. So this is fabulous. Oh, and they're marked. They're marked with little. Um, yeah little lines so you can gauge where where things are you know where the measurements Ugh. okay so that's day nine day ten is a seam ripper <laughs> she knows me so well <laughs> perfect for a travel kit day 11 is oh i oh gosh is this a needle threader i don't know it's a it's a little birdie. It's a little birdie. No, oh, yeah, I think it is a needle threader. Yeah. Can you see that? Here, let's, let's do this. And the top of it flips up and down. <laughs> that is wonderful. It'll help when I want to thread a micro text needle on my machine because my needle threader thing is too big. Like the needle eye is too small. Okay, okay I'm gonna put that on my little, okay, that was day 11, 12 is measuring tape. I need one of these attached around my neck to wear all the time because they are so handy. Man, I have you, I, I always need one, always, always. I don't know a sewist, sewer alive that can't use another tape measure. This is perfect. Thank you. Okay, so that's day 12. Day 13 is elastic. Oh goodness, this is perfect. Mwah. Always can use more elastic. This is like eighth of an inch. This isn't quarter, it's an eighth of an inch. I need often, you know, you'll need just a certain size of elastic. Okay, that's 13 and then 14 and today's day 15, so buttons she sent me some uh, vintage buttons uh not very long ago these are le chic 49 cents these are seriously vintage but white these will go great on like a nightgown that'll be perfect and then day 15 is right here and she stuffed something in here oh it's a scrunchie i need a hundred of these because every time I come in here to sew, this is the hottest room in the house. And I usually have all of my overhead lights on. And so I get really hot and I'm always throwing my hair up in a ponytail and look, oh, Maddie, you know me so well. This is perfect for me. Perfect. So that was day 15. Okay. We're good with the advent calendar. Thank you, Maddie. I love all my little, all my little gifts. You're all, you're all wonderful. And I just, mm. If I stand here much longer and talk about it, I'm going to cry. So let's not do that. I will leave you there. And uh, Noel, 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 born as the king of Israel. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I will wish you a good week. And I'll see you Friday. And... 
Uh, until then, thanks for watching.